once this is done now uh, since we have already approached the end of the presentation we may just uh, put in some questions for the student now if we go to the template library here we have already covered these three types of templates and also these two now here if you go down you will see in subject areas there are some more templates that relate to specific subjects so for example if i pick up math you will be able to see uh, some questions that relate to mathematics so which of these doesn't belong what mathematical questions could be asked choose a response so insert story problem question here insert your prompt here add dimensions remove any figures so these are something based on graph how do you get an answer use desmos calculator solve the problem type the numerical answer here so these are some questions which relate to mathematics similarly if you go to science you will see some questions that relate to science so there is a periodic table you have here draw the atom then what's happening in the image so all of these questions when diagram cause and effect evidence reasoning here you talk about lab reports then procedure material so all of this belongs to science of course uh, if you go to example questions now you get some uh, questions which are a little general so here you can see draw a line from the image to the right place in the map here you have a graph and here you have draw lines to match the image to the answer circle the correct choice so these are some questions that you can just pick up for almost any type of subject let's try to use these two templates so first is draw lines to match the image to the answer and these kind of questions I remember doing in school and it's definitely fun and keeps the student engaged. So here what it basically wants is that you put in some images and you put in some answers here and then uh, the student will have to just match the image to the corresponding answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in some images that uh, correspond to my concepts of underfitting overfitting and the student has to identify what is happening so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an image here for that of course you go to insert image and i'm going to upload an image from my computer of course there are these other options from wherein you can pick up your images so i'm going to go to the appropriate folder and here i have some images that i would like to pick up and i'm going to just insert those images right here so this is my first image i'll put it here now let me insert my next image so this one course you can place it wherever you want and slides of course really helps you in formatting it properly and just uploading uh, three of these so these are some images that I have and I'll just try to arrange them in a proper manner so that they're all aligned So these are my images and here I'll quickly provide the options for these. So the fitting, overfitting, optimum. Delete the rest. 